Awesome. There we go. All right. Good afternoon. Welcome to Special Olympics Kansas Virtual Health and Fitness Community Involvement Thursday with Mr. David Godoy here from Special Olympics, Maine, right? Maryland. Maryland. That's right. I knew it began with an M. Um, thank you so much for coming out today to um, continue your Spanish class part two. And um, today's question of the day is your favorite summer activity. So starting with Mr. Tyler Griswold, what is your favorite summer activity? Hi, my name is Tyler Griswold. I'm a health minister for Spouse Olympic Kansas. I'm going to say things bringing out of health care work for me and work for them. My favorite summer activity is take a walk and go swimming. Sounds good. Kaylee. My name is Kaylee. I'm an athlete and health messenger in Illinois. My favorite thing is doing a walk. Like I walked 1.1 mile today when I was on the phone with Gigi. And then I like to go swimming too. Nice. Very good. Gigi, what about you? Hi, my name is Gigi Fisher and I'm also a health messenger and a global messenger. And my favorite thing to do is to go swimming also. Very good. Bo? My name is Bo Reno. I'm a half muscle door, and my go swimming and bike, bike. Very good, Luke. Hi, my name is Luke. I'm a health physician, and I'm with my and I'm with my hand special Olympics. My favorite thing to do in the summer is walk through the garden, go for a walk, and do some trail walking. Nice job. Very good, Seth. Hey guys, it's Seth. I'm also a health messenger. Uh, my favorite season has to be summer because I love going to the pool. Nice, very good. Um, Luke, you got me thinking, grow a garden program. If you are in the grow garden program and you got your fruits and vegetables growing outside, don't forget to water them as it's supposed to be getting up to the hundreds uh, soon. So um, uh, make sure there's I'll plenty wait. of water. I'll wait until the sun sets down so I can water the garden in. Right, so very good. Because so I don't get dehydrated. Yep. Jesse. That's right. Jesse. Wait, wait, Bo, we still have Carrie. Go ahead, Carrie. I got my wall done today. Good job. My name's Carrie, and my favorite is walking and swimming, too. Very good. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. My favorite no, Jesse, is, what is you? swimming. Hey, Jesse, what's oh, yours? What is your Gigi favorite? Herself. <laughs> Jesse, what is your favorite? It is swimming outside in the water, in the pool. Or lake. Okay. It's fun. All right. Thank you very much. All right, Mr. David. Oh, wait, sorry. Kaylee is going to lead us through um, a five to 10 minute exercise routine um, or stretching or yoga. And uh, Kaylee, after you're done doing that, um, be sure to pass it off to David so he can introduce himself again and also share with us his favorite summer activity. All right. Kaylee, you're on mute. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Yes, All right, take it let away. me know when you want me to pass it off to him. Uh, at somewhere between 4.07 and 4.12. Okay, perfect. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Okay. First, we're going to do sit to stand slash squats. Luke, we're going to count to six, and Luke, you can count. Uh, squats? Yes, we're going to do six. Okay, six squats, ready, uh, go. One, two, three, four, five. Like this, Keely? Six. Yep, yeah, good job. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna do leg lifts when you try to like put your leg like this. And uh, Tyler, you can count and we're gonna do six on each side. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, let me go. I don't want to, I don't want to hurt myself on the desk. Yeah, okay. don't do that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Um, we're going to do arm circles now. Carrie, you can count to 15, Carrie. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know when you want to start. Okay, you can start. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. Okay, Gigi, we're gonna do knee to chest. Gigi, you can count to 12. A 12? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, now we're gonna do um, punches. Seth, you can count to 12, Seth. He's on mute. Okay. Seth, you're on mute. Um, Luke, you can count to 12. Yeah. We're going to do punches, Luke. Punches. How many are we doing? 12. Yeah. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job, Luke. Okay, Tyler, we're going to do uh, wall sits and we're going to hold it for 15 seconds and you can count, Tyler. Okay. Haley, I got to go find my wall. <laughs> <laughs> find your lucky wall, Gigi. Let me get my timer on my phone. All right, I found my wall. Okay. I'm oh, good. He's pretty good. No, I'm just joking on you, Gigi. You say 50 seconds, um, Kaylee? Yeah, 15. Okay. Let me go. Whoops, all past 15. Okay. Ah. Okay. Please call our support immediately. Okay. Good job. Okay. Carrie, now we're going to do a thing called shuffle side to side, and it's like this. And we're going to do it for 30 seconds. If you can count to 30, Carrie. Okay. Now, what and are we can, doing? It's like shuffle side to side, like this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <coughs> 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Good job, Jerry. Good job. Brandon, we can't see your video. Oh, yeah, I was uh, driving again. Okay. Okay. Oh, and. Am I over? Okay. <laughs> Gigi, okay. you can. Gigi, you can count the. You can count the single leg stands in 15 on each side. Single leg stands? Like yep. this? Yep. Both sides or just or just at um, a time? Like one at a time. And you can hold on to something if you guys need to. Okay. Can you see me, Kaylee, if I go this way? Yes, I can see you. I see you, Gigi. 
my stance out like this, oh, like that, like I was doing. One, yep. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Switch. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. Now I'm gonna take it now. I'm gonna let David Goodbay take over and teach us some Spanish. Gracias, gracias, Kaylee. Thank you. And you're going to tell us your favorite um, summer activity, right, David? Yes. My favorite summer activity is swimming. In Spanish, we say natación. 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 Hold on, David. OK. To begin class for today, we're going to begin with a, a very important tip in Spanish. So in Spanish, all nouns are either masculine or feminine, often nouns that are ending in O, if they are masculine, in A, and if they are feminine. For example, the little boy, we said el niño, and that's masculine, el niño. Can you please repeat after me, everyone? El, el niño. El niño. El niño. El niño. El niño. The little boy. Now, for the little girl, we said la niña. La niña. La niña. Not, notice how we use the E-L if the words are masculine, and we use la if the words are feminine for la. 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 Okay. Now, we're going to identify um, something that we used to eat, also things that we used to eat for nutrition, such as an apple, a banana, a little bit of bread. So for the bread, we said el pan. El, el pan. pan. El pan. El pan. For the apple, we said la manzana. La manzana. Very good. La manzana. La manzana. La manzana. La manzana. Okay. Now we're going to have a um, little bit of ink. In English, the performs change depending on who they are doing the action. For example, we say, I am. You are, she is. In Spanish, we do the same thing. Yours. 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 Two. Two. El. 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 Ella. So we no. said, for the soldier, we said yo. 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 For the bird, we said soy. 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 I am. Soy. For the soldier, we say tú. Tú. In English, we say you. Yeah. You. For the bird, we we said you are. In you English, are. in Spanish, we said eres. Eres. For the soldier, we said in Spanish, we said ella, she. Ella. She. Ella. Yeah. She. And for the bird, we say she is. He is. Yes. He is. He is. Yes. 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 Very good, everyone. Now we're <laughs> going to start um, a very important um, activity. If everybody have a piece of paper with them, it can be any piece of paper. Uh, on the top, we're going to put uh, we're going to draw a little girl. We're going to draw a woman. We're going orange. to draw an apple. 
Huh? And then we're going to draw a man. Okay. Now we're going to do a process of um, elimination. We're going to set which of this is the apple. So we said La Nina, that's not, that's not the apple. So we cross that one out. Then we cross out La Mujer because that's not the apple. We said La Manzana is the correct answer because that's, that's the correct answer for <coughs> the apple. So it's like a multiple choice. La manzana. La manzana. La manzana. La manzana. Now, if we want to say for, for somebody who likes to eat healthy, let's say an example with Kaylee. Say, Kaylee, Come manzanas. Kaylee, come manzana. Manzanas means apples. Come manzana. And that's, that's apples, Luke, is what he's saying. Kaylee likes to eat apples. Right, David? Yes, yes. that's an example. Like as, as right. as, as as now, uh, for Gigi, she can, uh, can give an example, un ejemplo. Gigi likes to eat apples. Gigi come manzanas. Now we can say the same thing for Taylor. Taylor come manzanas. Do you like to eat apples? Tyler. Yes. Si. Sí. Si. Sí. Muy bien. Excelente. Continuemos con la clase. When you wake up every morning, we said, me levanto. Me levanto. Me levanto. Me levanto. That's good morning, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I wake up means me levanto. Me levanto. Oh. Can you say that slowly, please, David, so I can understand this in Spanish? Levanto. Sure. What is it when you say good night, David? Oh, when you say good night, we said buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Yep. <laughs> But uh, to say it slowly so um, everybody can understand, I'm going to say these are activities of daily daily living. So first, every morning when we wake up, me, we say, me levanto, and we me, me levanto. We me levanto. Your arms me like levanto. this. Me levanto. Me, me levanto. Me and then I we said, me ducho, I take a shower. Me, me ducho. And ducho. Me ducho. I'm gonna take a man ducho today. You, did you say you just yep. said I'm gonna take a shower, Luke? Is what you just said in Spanish? Yes. Uh -huh. yep, yep. Take a shower. Yep. Then I do those. Man, I do. Man, I man, I do. After taking a shower, we said. Um, Desayuno, I eat breakfast. Desayuno. desayuno. And then desayuno. after desayuno, we are going to go to work. So it means trabajando. 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 Sí. Y después, regreso a casa. I come back home afterwards. Regreso a casa. Regreso a casa. casa. Regreso a casa. 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 Casa, C A S A, Luke. Casa, Casa, Casa. Hey, Luke. Hey, Luke. Why is that bow? Uh, it's hard for me to say that too, Luke. What? Bo, at least, it, at least he's trying though. At least we're all trying to learn. He's, yeah, uh, we are trying am, to learn, Luke. Let, let me say this very, I am very proud of all of you for just being here, learning Spanish. Estoy muy orgulloso de todos ustedes por que aprender español. I'm very proud of every single one of you. Let's give a hand of applause. Gracias. 
Okay. For the days of the week, we're going to just review quickly the days of the week. Um, lunes. Lunes. Marte, martes. 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 Miércoles. 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 Jueves. Jueves. Viernes. 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 Sábado. Sábado. Domingo. 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 Now, uh, to briefly review the days of the month, uh, we're going to do enero. 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 Fe fe febrero. 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 Marzo. 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 Abril. 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 Mayo. 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 Junio. 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 Julio. 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 Agosto. 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 Septiembre. Septiembre. Octubre. 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 Noviembre. Noviembre. Diciembre. 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 Um, now, something very important is how to introduce ourselves in Spanish, but the most important thing that we're going to add in our introdu introduction is that we are athletes from uh, representing, I am representing Maryland, you are representing uh -huh. Kansas. So, and, Illinois, and Illinois. And Illinois. And New correct. Jersey. And New Jersey. And New Jersey. I, I will say an example for me. I'm going to start an example and then I'm going to give the opportunity to Kelly to introduce herself in Spanish. First, okay. I'm going to start myself introducing. Hola, mi nombre es David. Soy un atleta de Maryland. Bienvenido a la clase de español. Now, Kelly, you can say, I can say, hola. Hola. Mi nombre es Kelly. Mi nombre es, es Kelly. Soy un atleta de Illinois. So, y soy de Illinois. Bienvenido a la clase de español. Bienvenida a clases es español. Muy bien. Now I'm going to give the opportunity with Gigi. Can you repeat after me, Gigi? Uh -huh. Yep. Hola. Hola. Mi nombre es Gigi. Mi nombre es Gigi. Soy un atleta de Kansas. Soy un atleta de Kansas. Bienvenido a las clases de español. Bienvenida a la clase de español. Muy bien. We're going to give it one more practice with Taylor. Tyler. Tyler is his name. Okay. Tyler. I'm sorry. I apologize. No, no it's okay. All my friends call me Taylor or Tyler. I know. It's okay. Okay. And said, hola. Hola. Mi nombre es Tyler. Hola, Wesley. Tyler. Soy un atleta de Kansas. Senso of Kansas. Bienvenido a la clase de español. El scenes of all scenes. Okay. That's, that was a good practice, guys. Muy bien. Now, hey, David. Yes. See. Si. High spot. High spot. Dog in Spanish. Oh, Dogs. sure. In in Spanish, for the pets, the in Spanish, if you have a cat, we said gato. Gato. And, gato. And 
And the spelling is the letter G, <clears throat> the letter A, the letter T, and the letter O, gato. Now, gato. if you have more than one cat, we said, we add the letter S at the end, and we said gatos. Now for, the, for, for a dog, we said perro. 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 But if, if it is a little puppy, we said perrito. Perrito. If it is multiple puppies, we said perritos. Perritos. Now, if you have, um, as a pet, if you have a, a turtle, turtle as a pet, we said tortuga. 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 And if you, have a, if you have a little bird, we said pájaro. Pájaro. If you only had one, but if you had many, many, we said pájaros, and we pájaros. add it. We, we add the letter S at the end of the words. Uh -huh. Now, um, something very important to know is the holidays. How do we say the holidays? Or at, uh, for somebody's oh, yeah. birthday, somebody is having a birthday. A so we said, <sighs> Feliz. Navidad for Christmas. Oh. Feliz Navidad for Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Oh, like the star. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yep. Yes, like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Navidad. For, for New Year's, <laughs> we said Feliz Año Nuevo. For Feliz New Año Nuevo. Año Nuevo. Now for um, for for birthday, we said Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. Feliz cumpleaños. And talking about birthdays, I would like to ask you a question: Is somebody's birthday in the month of June? And you guys have a birthday? For the month of June, cumpleaños. No, Latonia does. Who does? No, he's, he's asking if you do, Carrie. He's not asking if Latonia does. He's asking if you do. No. If, if your birthday is in June. My birthday was on my June. My birthday is in April. Okay. <laughs> Last now, month. No. There's a very important holiday coming up. We are going to celebrate in the in the whole United States is. Cuatro de julio, four of July. Cuatro de, de julio. Cuatro de julio. La, la independencia de Estados Unidos, the independence of United States. So this is very, since we are talking about holidays, this is a very important holiday coming up. Cuatro de julio, la independencia de Estados Unidos. Four of July. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cuatro de Julio. Uh, what was the what was independence in Spanish, David? Villa de la Independencia. Villa de la Independencia. My no. birthday is on July fourteenth. Now I'm going to teach you something very important, and I'm sure Jesse would like to learn this too. We are athletes of health messengers. Uh -huh. So in Spanish we said, "Somos atletas mensajeros de la salud." Uh, we going to say this slowly uh, for all of us athletes in in in, in general for for uh -huh. born athletes. We are representing the health messengers. So in Spanish, we said, somos, somos, somos atletas, 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 embajadores 
de la salud. En Tajanones, Estadio. Yes. Plata en Tajanones, Tandú. Muy bien. Gracias. Gracias. How many, ¿Cuántos años somos atletas de, de la salud? For how many years have you been at least a health, health messenger at least? I've been an athlete for 11 years and I've been a health messenger for a few months. Um, That's great. Muy bien. Me, con, me alegra mucho. Thank Now, you. For, for something to, to, to say is very important in Spanish is how we feeling or feelings, mm -hmm. to express mm -hmm. our feelings. Mm -hmm. So when we, when we are happy, we said, estoy feliz. Estoy, estoy feliz. feliz. When, the, when we are angry, we said, estoy enojado. Estoy, estoy enojado. enojado. Estoy enojado. When we are tired, we said, estoy cansado. Estoy cansado. Estoy cansado. Now, when, when we are energized and we have lots of energies, then tenemos mucha energía. We have lots of energy. And then, and then it's also and you know, you know. That's hard to say. Mm -hmm. I can't say that very well on that. Energy. It's all right, Luke. At, at least everybody's trying. At least we're trying, and we're going to be able to pick up a little bit of different words if somebody is speaking uh -huh. to us uh -huh. in Spanish. Uh -huh. sí. yeah. Something, something very important uh, uh, to differentiate is that uh, when we are brush, when we are doing some brushing your teeth. And it's, it's a little bit similar, uh, not to be confused when, when we take a shower because the two words in the Spanish sound very similar. For example, mm -hmm. when we are brushing our teeth, we said, me lavo los dientes. Me lavo los dientes. Um, I brush my teeth. Now, when we are taking a shower, we said, me ducho. Me ducho. Me ducho. Me ducho. The two me words are, are, are very sim similar to each other because both have to do with, 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 with you have to do some little bit of uh, maintenance, hygiene, and same things like this. So, but I just want to let you know that the difference between the two. So it's very important. But how would you s describe and say Jesse as like in Spanish? How would you say my name is Jesse? I'm a virtual health and fitness coordinator in Spanish. Oh, of course. Uh, if Jesse is out there, can Jesse repeat after me? Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse. He's busy playing Jesse! rocket league. Hola, me llamo Jesse. Okay, he's on. What's that? Hola. Hola, Cristina. Okay. Hola, um, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, para Jesse, tengo... I don't know health and fitness coordinator in Spanish, though. Oh, and we can't see your video. We can't see you. You're off. That's okay. Um, me, All right. I'm here. Can oh, Hola. You can <laughs> Hola. his game. No, mi, I'm not. Mi, mi nombre, hola, That's mi nombre es Jesse. He's talking to you. <laughs> oh, in <laughs> Spanish. Hola, <I'm> Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> What? Okay. Um, uh, everybody. Do we, oh, hold on. do we need to remind Jesse how to say it? No, no. You know where it says say? Yes, we do. Does he need to go back and watch us do it again? Yes, he does. <laughs> Mi nombre es Jesse. Soy un coordinador de los atletas. Soy un coordinador de los atletas de la salud. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, uh, mi nombre es Jesse. Mi nombre es Jesse. 
Soy un coordinador de los atletas de salud. <laughs> Everything after soy, I, I can't, it is not clicking. Okay. Um, uh, we can <laughs> say it slowly. I am, yo soy. Yes. Soy, yo I soy. know that one. What's the next one? Sure. Un, un coordinador. Un coordinador. <laughs> de la salud. De la salud. De la salud. That means the from health messenger. La salud. Health messenger. Coordinator. Health messenger is salud? Yes. Health messenger for salud. Health messenger. Okay. Salud. salud. Health messenger is salud. Yeah, so they, yeah. coordinator, coordinator de la we, salud. We can so we coordinator de salud? See, we can put the two words together and you can say it slowly. Uh, hola, mi nombre es Jesse. Soy un coordinador <laughs> de la salud. And uh, do you mind asking me, Jesse, for how many years have you been a health messenger co coordinator? Um, hola, mi nombre es Jesse. <laughs> Soy un coordinador de salud para dos años. Okay, muy bien. You were laughing with you. Let's give a Jesse a hand. Give Jesse a hand, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Jesse. Muy bien. Jesse, you are work. You work tomorrow, <laughs> say that at your work, you, what you say. At my work? Okay, hey, David, I do have a question for you. So what's yes. the difference between saying mi nombre es Jesse and me llamo Jesse? So both, both have the same meaning, but um, one is a formal, when you're presenting yourself to your friends, we said, me llamo Jesse, but when you're presenting yourself to your supervisors in a formal way, we said, mi, me, ya, mi nombre es Jesse. Oh, I didn't know that. That's super cool. I didn't know that <laughs> one was formal and one wasn't. I was always told just to say, me right. Luke. Yes. So okay. there's a different way of uh, communicating with your supervisors and with with your friends and co-workers. One is a formal way of introducing yourself and one is an informal way of introducing yourself. Gotcha, okay. Uh, hey, David, how do you say Halloween in, in Spanish? So Jesse learned something today. I did. <laughs> Halloween, it's, it's, the same, it's the same in English and in Spanish, Halloween. Oh, okay. I don't know Halloween is in Spanish. It's just, they're the same, David just said. Oh, okay. Now, let me tell you for all of these health message athletes, candy is not good for you. Caramelos no es muy bueno para ustedes. Candy, no good for you for health messenger. Dos a... seis. Sí, 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 sí. No dos seis. We want to be Example of good, good eating, good nutrition. So we said, no, no caramelos. No caramelos. No caramelos. And instead, you could say to them in Spanish, David, like, uh, like they could have blueberries or strawberries or apples instead, right? En vez, que tenemos que tener. Comer manzanas, yes. uh, plátanos, yes. plátanos, strawberries, blueberries. Okay. Plátanos, strawberries, and blueberries. Okay. Uh, David. See. Si? Uh, Ask your question, bud. He said he's saying yes, Bo. Uh, say, how you say, work? 
traba, traba, trabajo, work. Trabajo. You're going to you're going to travel or you're coming home from travel. Trabajo. Trabajo. Sí. Remember that I show you the daily activities that we do each morning. Me levanto is when you wake up each morning. Me levanto. Wake up. Me levanto. Me ducho is that take a shower. Me ducho. Me ducho. Me ducho. Desayuno. Desayuno. Is breakfast. Voy al trabajo means going to work. Trabajo. Oh my God. Trabajo. Regreso a casa means returning from work. Oh my God, get out of tomorrow. Okay. Guys, um, um, so one of the other important holidays is um, 4 de julio. 4 de julio. Oh, by the way, guys, ¿cuántos días falta para 4 de julio? How many days until 4 of July? We can say that in, that in Spanish, el número en Spanish. We can say the number. Does anybody have a calendar nearby? Hold on, let me guess. I think I can get it. Let's see. No, I'm going to get you that. Uh, 14, 14 days, days left. You, Jesse. Hold on. 14 days left. No. Um, In the Spanish, we said 14. 17. 17. Muy bien. Woo! What does that mean in English, Jess? 14. 14. 14. I knew so it I have, was 14. So I had to go to my calendar and I had to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I know what, um, every year on May 5th, it's sick on the mile. Uh huh. Sick on the mile. That's single, it's spinach in May, single on the mile. De mile. David, ¿dónde está el Día de los Muertos? Hey, David. Um, eso se celebra en, en la Ciudad de México. The pe people from Mexico celebrate Día de los Muertos. But in my country, in Ecuador, we also celebrate Día de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Mm -hmm. ¿El yeah. octubre? And also, um, we celebrate uh, Christmas. Uh, Feliz, no, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. And let me ask everybody, um, during Christmas time, that what is Jesse's favorite activity to do for the athletes for dressing up? <laughs> uh, like a custom, favorite custom <laughs> for, for during holidays. Durante, la, durante las fiestas. He's, he's asking you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I like to wear for Christmas? Like no, no. No, What do you like for us to wear for Christmas? Uh, <laughs> ugly sweaters? A special, a special <laughs> activity. Algo especial for uh, la Navidad Chris, uh, during Christmas season. Oh, uh, you. Yeah. Are you you're asking me what do they like to wear during Christmas time? No, no. What I'm saying is, um, sometimes we like to uh, in, be uh, dressing up in costume. Uh, so most of us do do dress up, but most of us don't dress up. But I was just oh, I like a suit and tie. Yeah. Or a Santa hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see what he's saying now. Santa Claus. Oh, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, just said Santa Claus. I don't dress up as Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus dresses up as Santa Claus. I don't. Yeah, maybe John will be good, looks like Santa Claus next week. <laughs> <laughs> if, if everyone is good this uh, year, 
Jesse is going to give you a special surprise. <clears throat> and the surprise is give you lots of apples and bananas and uh, mm -hmm. what I'm trying, nutritious food. Apples, bananas, pears, manzanas, duraznos. Berries, he strawberries, he strawberries, blue strawberries, blueberries, watermelon. Okay. Mango, mango, grapes, cherry, right. pineapple. All right, guys, it's 444. So we got to go, all right? Okay. All right. Okay. All right, we'll talk All to right. you guys later. Um, so let's Thank go ahead you, and close David. out. Wait, don't stop yet. I got to close out. I got to close this out first. So um, thank you all for joining Virtual the Fitness uh, this week with David. David, would you like to do a, a part three Spanish class maybe in two or three weeks? Sure. Uh, just let me know the date and I will certainly help mm -hmm. you out. Sounds good. Awesome. All right, let's do that. And then... Oh, um, hey, guys, shape oh. one, two, three. Thank you. One, two, Thank three. you. Thank, Thank you. you, David. Thank you. Gracias, amigos. Oh, yes. And then um, to answer one of your questions, um, answer to two questions, actually. Um, so who said it? Luke, Luke, I was not on Rocket League during virtual fitness, but Gigi, um, the workout yesterday for uh, with Gracie Hunt was uploaded while my camera was off. So... Okay, um, so it, it's on there now? If you want to go do the workout yesterday with Gracie Hunt, okay. um, it is on our YouTube page, which was uploaded uh, while my camera was off, not playing Rocket League. So I didn't say you were playing Rocket League. <laughs> Someone <it>. did. <laughs> I, I right, know you well, what. You said you were playing against Oklahoma. We are. So five, that's why we got to we gotta leave right now. So me, Tyler, and Seth are going up against Special Olympics Oklahoma in Rocket League here at 5 o'clock. So if you do want to watch our matchup, Seth Wagner posted that in the Healthy Athletes of Kansas Facebook page. So if you click that link, um, you'll be able to hear me, Tyler, and Seth all talking during the during the game, okay? Hold on. Is that on a Nintendo Switch or a PS4? Well, it's going to uh, be on. It's a multi it's a multi-platform game. So maybe I should join you someday. It's on Twitch. Yeah. Like you guys can go and watch is what Jesse's saying. It's on Seth's Seth's Twitch page. Yeah, it's can on Seth's team someday. Someday, for sure. For sure. You just gotta get Rocket League and, and join us one day. Cause me and Seth hey, and Jesse, Tyler just play I'm in the about evening. Too. I think about right. me this weekend. Once you guys get it, let me know your gamer tag so I can friend request you and then we can All play right. in the evenings after wow. we're done being healthy and working out. It's our relaxation I'll plan time. On it. Gracias a todos. Muchísimas gracias. Oh, chicha. Bye. 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 Bye.